Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here with the next video, and once again, taking a look at some air attacks, some dragon attacks, but this time uh, focusing more Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12. This first one here is a nice dragon attack at Town Hall 12 that you think wouldn't be as easy, but against the right base, you can just destroy it with these dragons. Uh, part of the reason this attack works so nicely is because all single infernos, uh, the wizard tower coverage isn't great. That bottom area was very susceptible to a mass bat spell, so it drops the rage, drops, uh, what, like six, seven bat spells, and just destroys that area. Um, and then from there, the dragons can move through. So I have covered uh, dragons, bat spells a lot for Town Hall 10, but I want to give it a little bit of due diligence at Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12 more in this video um, because it is working there as well and it's probably your guys' best go-to for attacking, uh, generally speaking. So here we go with this one. Uh, once the bats cleared out a big path, the dragons can kind of move through and the heroes create the funnel at the top side. So when you think about dragons, you want to think about it kind of like your minor attacks, if you guys have used those before. You have to funnel the miners through. There can't be too wide of a gap because like uh, miners, dragons will target any building, not just defenses. So if you do it incorrectly and there's no funnel on one side, they'll wander off and just focus on the trash buildings, meanwhile getting targeted by defenses. So I liked how the attacker here saved two uh, bat spells for the back end to help tank those single infernos a little bit because the single infernos are definitely tougher on dragons but I think overall it's better to go against them these days especially if you're going to use this strategy because it opens up a lot for the bat spell which is the best thing to pair with these dragons what it's 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 making these dragons um, as powerful as they are right now um, because they got so many buffs since people had no idea how to use them pre-update and then now that uh, the bat spell pairs so nicely with them we're really seeing the full power of the dragon so let's move on to number six here town hall 11 attack um, stone slammer making an appearance as it often does with the dragons and the bat spell of course this one was more of a straight up heroes on each side it's more of a town hall 10 version we see but look at how it just destroys this base one thing that helps is that the, there's an expo uh, pointed down, um, so it's not going to be able to target anything. But more importantly, these air defenses are kind of all right in the runway of the troops. So I'm definitely going to be covering how to defend dragons uh, at pretty much any town hall level because of, a lot of it comes down to pathing. And here the pathing is just too friendly throughout the base for a mass swarm of dragons. And then these bats get, a great, uh, get great value. As soon as that Molten Inferno was down, um, the bats could just destroy that entire like bottom left side of the base. Um, it was otherwise very susceptible to dragons. So, so many uh, troops left up by the end of this one. It just, it was over before it even began. So a nice attack here and uh, we will move quite, we'll move along. Um, but definitely against a base that's just kind of, you know, typically would be solid against most attack strategies, you can crush it if it's not set up to defend dragons. And like I said, I definitely want to cover how to defend dragons very soon uh, once you know I get some more data and can put forward the best video for you guys. All right, so this one is another Town Hall 11 one. And we notice sometimes the bases are segmented like this. This is a very popular design at Town Hall 11. But if you have that single Inferno with like two air defenses, and even if there's a wizard tower there, you can just overwhelm it with a rage and a bunch of bats. And that's exactly what happened there. And the beauty of doing that against this type of base is that it often kind of clears out some nice pathing because this base design, not the exact one, but the style where you have these, uh, the middle's not really a compartment. It's just kind of like there's four compartments on either side. One has like the eagle and stuff. One has the inferno on the opposite side to the other inferno. Um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about if you're a Town Hall 11. This is this kind of very standard type of design. You can use the bats for one compartment heroes to create the funnel, come in at the eagle first, and then um, just send the bats in, uh, or sorry, heroes on the other side, come in with the dragons at the eagle compartment first, and then they can just push through the rest of the base typically, uh, whatever's left, which will be one of the infernos, and just some back end, which isn't that 
tough usually. Usually some Teslas on the back end, but that's not going to do a whole lot to your Dragons. The Stone Slammer just, just crushing this base. Uh, get some good value from the splash damage on other defenses as well. Um, so good stuff here, and a lot of Dragons left up at the end. So we'll fast forward. Um, I'm going to take a look at one more Town Hall 11 and uh, a Town Hall 10 as well. But um, kind of as I was saying for this base, one of the things I love about Dragons, um, especially at Town Hall like 11, is that this attack strategy works very well against the common bases we see. And the uh, one of those being the, the base we just saw, which is that type of design, but also against more of an anti-two-star design, which sometimes attackers kind of freeze up, don't know how to attack if you're used to, uh, facing anti-three-star bases. It is relatively easy to make a mistake against a maxed out base, um, if you're used to seeing like strictly anti three star bases, because um, oftentimes there's a, a bunch of great value for the bat spell rage combination. And up top, that was the case, dropped it a freeze, a rage, and a bunch of bat spells, and took out the eagle. Almost got two air defenses, but also got a bunch of other defenses. And just the entire top of that base, really, everything that was a defense went down. Then uses the heroes at one other side, and the dragons coming up the middle. and it works against these kind of anti two star bases. There's a lot of room for error because you're throwing down a lot of hit points and something has to destroy those hit points. If, the, if it's hogs or something, there's not as many hit points, there's spring traps. It's easier to mess up. It's more of a finesse attack. This is more of a powerful attack and typically you can take advantage of a certain part of the base that doesn't have great coverage for bat spells, get good value there, and then dragons can just kind of overpower the rest using your heroes, you know, wisely wherever to get some more value, take out air defenses, funneling, stuff like that. But against an anti two star base, the funneling is less important because um, typically the, the defenses are pretty diffused. And um, the important thing is that you can just kind of get good value from your initial use of the bat spell and of the heroes. And then from there, uh, typically the base is not gonna be strong enough to stand up to uh, the bat or stand up to the dragons and the stone slammer and a few balloons or on typical stuff like that. So nice attack here. Um, right here, the stone slammer goes down and the balloons drop out. That one air defense is actually pretty low because the bat spells almost got it. So things will kind of finish up right here. Another nice attack. And we're gonna take a look at one Town Hall 10. We couldn't escape it for this video, even though I wanted to focus uh, more on the 11s and 12s. We'll still take a look at one um, Civil Serpent. This one was a nice attack. And um, this base looks familiar. Uh, I don't know if I've seen it before or not, but like I said, guys, a lot of these classic bases that have always been pretty strong at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, even Town Hall 12, but it seems like more Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, there's those bases that we're used to seeing. And now there's ways to easily beat them with the bat spell dragon combination that there wasn't before. And that's what I like about um, this new strategy is it re it's really finally taking out some of these old annoying bases that we hate seeing. And you guys probably also know what I'm talking about at Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12. There is the, um, there's that one base design where there's like the Infernos in their own compartment, like very separated. And there's like the Expos, like two Expos per compartment, also very separated off. Sometimes the Eagles in its own compartment. Um, it's very common. I'm not. You guys may or may not know what I'm talking about, but um, the point is with those really isolated single infernos, those are very easy to take out with one or two bat spells. And then if you can get the air defenses with heroes or something, you can also uh, take those out with dragons. So another very common base that can go down to this type of strategy. But this is a very typical deployment. Now I made a video on bat spell deployment and this one diverges a little bit from it. He dropped the bat spells kind of in two different groups and not in a rage. I might have done it a little differently. The bats didn't get a ton of value for this attack, but really it didn't matter. Um, these loons coming from the CC uh, finish off these last few defenses and that is pretty much it. So hope you guys like this video. Wanted to uh, highlight some Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12 dragon attacks as well to show that that's also something where this strategy is working, not just Town Hall 10. So be sure to look to that in your wars. And as I also mentioned, guys, I will do my best to get a anti-dragon base building type video out for you guys. 
Um, I made one for how to defend the bat spell, but I think we have to look broader um, how to defend dragons because that is half the attack. And sometimes people are using dragons without bat spells now. So we got to think um, about broader how do we defend the dragons themselves. And I will definitely be covering that as soon as possible. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.